Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five boys. They live in a building that has ten stories, excluding the ground floor. And each boy lives on a different floor, and uh, none of them lives on the ground floor. Okay, and they enter a lift, and each one presses the buttons of exactly two floors, so that all ten buttons are pressed. Okay, but none of them presses the button for his own floor. So whoever will press the button, they will press buttons of different floors. Okay, now some information is given to us. Okay, so using this, we have to find out who lives on which uh, floors and uh, who presses the button of which floor. So five people A, B, C, D. Okay, they live on some floor and they press two buttons each. So we have to find this. Now C lives above A but below D. So that means C is above A but below D, and E lives below D but above B. So that means D is at the top, right? Because C and A, E, B are not. So this gives us D is at top. But not necessarily that he will be on floor number ten because. See, there are five floors that are occupied, right? So do not take that D is on floor A. There are exactly two floors between floors B and A. Okay, fine. And let us move further. The floor numbers pressed by B are perfect square numbers. So perfect square numbers are one, four, or nine. Okay. Uh, A press the button of C's floor number. B press D. C press E. D pressed A and E press for B. So A presses for C. Okay, D will press for D. C will press for E. Okay, D will press for A, and E will press the button for B. Okay, so if we know uh, that uh, B's floor number, so we can tell that it was pressed by E. So likewise, we can find this relation. So this is an important point. Difference between floor numbers pressed by E, pressed by D. Okay, given that. A pressed consecutive floor numbers. That is also fine. B press the buttons for floors that are above the floor where he lives. Okay. Now it means that it is given that B press the floors of above where he lives. So that means from third point we got that B can live on one, four, and nine. Also B can press one, four, or nine. Now B cannot press one because even if he lives at one. So he has to press the buttons that are above the floor where he lives. Okay. So he cannot live on. Uh, these floors, so B will press four and nine. So B pressed buttons four and nine, and we are given that B press the button of D. Okay, B press the button of D's floor number. So D cannot be four. Okay, D cannot be four because uh, there are five people, right? So D D has to be floor number nine. Okay. Now uh, this is done. Now we are given some statement, so we will look for statements that include B's floor number. Now it is given that there are exactly two floors between the floors of B and A, okay, and exactly one floor between the floors of C and E. So we know that B and A there are two floors, and B pressed four and nine, right? So B can live on. B can live on one, okay. So the, in that case, A will be four. Okay. If B lives on two, A will be five. If B lives on three, A will be six because there are two floors between them. Okay. Now, if B lives on one, A lives on four. Is it possible? See, B pressed button number four. Here it is given that B press for D and D press for A. So if uh, A lives on four, then B cannot press A's button. Right, so that means one and four is not possible. Okay. Now, if we take three and six, so if we take B, B and A, three and six, then there are C and E also. Okay. Uh, now uh, we are also given that there is one floor between the floors of C and E where none of the five stay. So there is an empty floor between C and E also. Now, if you see the floor numbers one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it is taken by D. Okay, three is taken by B. Okay, and A six is taken by A. So we cannot find any 
three so if there is one floor between c and e so that means we have to find three such floors where there is one vacant floor in between and two occupied ones okay so we cannot find any of those floors so you see there is no possibility where we can have two persons living in uh, sk after skipping one floor so no such possibility if you take 8 and 10 it is saying that no none of the five stay in between so it is not possible so not possible for c and e okay so now let us consider this case that this is 2 and 5 okay so this is b this is a and this is d okay now if we see we have floors 6 and 8 possible because 6 and 8 there is one floor between c and e where none of the five stay so in floor number 7 none of the person stays so we can have 6 and 8 so c and e we can have 6 or 8 interchangeably okay so we at least got the floor numbers so a's floor number is 5 right b is 2 now we will use this information who pressed which button so uh, a's button was pressed by d so d one of the buttons pressed is 5 okay and then b's button is pressed by e so one of the buttons pressed by e is 2 okay so this we have figured out next we have to find out that uh, who lives on these two floors so c lives this is taken care of this is we have written okay so this is also done this is also done the difference between the floor numbers pressed by e is the floor number of c so let us look at this point okay so we know one of the floor numbers pressed by e is 2 okay now if we say that c is on 8 so c is 6 or 8 c 6 okay so e kya button dabaega if c is on 6 e will press 2 and 8 okay if c is on 8 then e will press 2 and 10 okay if c is on 8 then e will be on 8 uh, sorry if c is on 6 e will be on 8 and this case so if e is on 8 c will be on 6 button pressed by e will be 2 and 8 if e is on 6 c will be on 8 and button pressed by uh, e will be 2 and 10 but if you see this case that if e is on 8 c is on 6 e will press 2 and 8 because the difference is floor number of c okay difference between the floor numbers pressed by e is floor number of c now if we see this case e is pressing his own button okay but we are given that none of them pressed his own button it is given that none of them presses the button for his own floor so a case reject so we get that e lives on floor number 6 and c lives on floor number 8 okay now e will press buttons 2 and 10 so we found out the floors of each of these people now we will find out the buttons that they will press okay so 2 or 10 over uh, the difference between the floor numbers pressed by d is a perfect square number okay d ka ek floor mein pata hai 5 so difference perfect square kya ho sakta hai 1 ho sakta hai 4 ho sakta hai difference okay if 1 and 4 are the difference then the buttons pressed can be 4 or it can be 6 also because difference is so 4 the possible nahi hai it can be 6 also it can be 9 also it can be 9 possible nahi hai it can be 1 okay so abhi pata nahi hai so if the difference is 1 then floor number will be 6 if the difference is 4 floor number will be 1 okay now a pressed consecutive acha ye bhi to bharna hai ki a press button of c theek hai c ka 8 hai a press c b press d b ne to kar liya tha c press the floor number of e so c ne 6 press kiya theek hai so these floor numbers are gone so difference between press by d is a perfect square to one ka difference to ho nahi sakta because one ka difference will give 4 or 6 which is not possible so four ka difference hoga four ka difference ya to 9 hoga ya 1 hoga so we will take one okay so this is this is also taken care of now we are left with uh, 1 2 3 bacha hai Okay, and then 4, 5, 6, 7, or 2 or 7, okay, no, 3 or 7, sorry. So, A press consecutive floor numbers, so A will press 8 and 7, okay, and uh, so A will 3, C will press this button. Okay, so this is how we solve this question, interesting question, and we got the buttons that they pressed, and also the floors on which they live.
Okay, so now let us answer the questions. So the first question is who lives on a floor which is between the floors where whose buttons he pressed, right? So A pressed 8 and 7 but he lives on 5, right? So not in between. B pressed 4 and 9 so he does not live in between. C pressed 6, 3 and 6. D pressed this. E lives between 2 and 10, right? So the answer is E. Who lives on the 8th floor? So that is C. Who pressed the button on the first floor, right? So first floor ka button was pressed by D. And which of these is not a vacant floor? Uh, 10 is vacant, 4 is also vacant, 2 is not vacant, right? 7 is vacant. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.